The Earth. Uh, you may know it as that blue thing Bruce Willis is always trying to save. <laughs> or from its famous collaboration with wind and fire. <laughs> or just simply as that place where George Clooney lives. America. Land of the free, home of the brave, inventor of Chinese food. America. The greatest country on earth. You hear that, Denmark? You go fuck yourself! <laughs> yeah, I don't care what the World Happiness Index says. Michelle Obama told me that we're number one and her arms make me feel safe. <laughs> Canada. Canada, what you get if America and Britain had a baby they abandoned in the snow. Canada, the country you think about so little that's it. End of sentence. Canada. It, it's basically five hockey rinks surrounded by bears. <laughs> Canada. Uh, the country with a thriving economy based on making jean jackets for geese. And, <laughs> and of course, their booming sexy Ryan manufacturing industry. Mexico. Number seven on the list of things that Donald Trump is most frightened of, just ahead of Muslims and just behind the concept of self-reflection. <laughs> Mexico. Uh, or as you may know it, spicy Canada. <laughs> Mexico. Uh, the only place you can get a truly authentic volcano quesarito. <laughs> Panama. A country you think about so little, you don't realise that's not Panama, that's the outline of a Scotty dog. <laughs> this is Panama. Life isn't just a fairy tale land of alpacas and pan flutes, Peru. <laughs> At some point, you've got to pull your weight. And don't give me the whole, oh, but John, our population is the size of Texas and the war on terror is a hopeless geopolitical paradox. That's bullshit, Peru! <laughs> Cuba. Florida's teardrop tattoo in Cuba, home to the world's least fun Castro district. Cuba, or as JFK used to pronounce it, Booty Island. Greenland is icy, distant and semi-autonomous. It's exactly Trump's type. Puerto Rico, the island that for decades has been marketed to us as a beautiful vacation spot. This is the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, a land of song and laughter. Coconut milk, a delicious Puerto Rican rum. This is really living. It's the revival of an old coconut mask festival at Louisa, just 45 minutes from San Juan. And how'd you like to see this the morning after? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did that 1950s narrator just make a sex joke? Why, if you've got the moxie, you can f every crazy masked stranger on the island. <laughs> Venezuela, a, a country you think about so little, you didn't even realize that's not Venezuela. <laughs> this is Venezuela. Actually, that's not Venezuela either. This is Venezuela. <laughs> Except it isn't because Venezuela was the first one all along. But the fact you didn't notice is the point. Guatemala, a country you think about so little, we're just going to leave up a map of Central America and make you look up which one it is. <laughs> Crack a book. I'm not here to spoon feed you what's Guatemala. Bolivia. A, a country you think about so little, you haven't even realized that's not Bolivia. This is Bolivia. Actually, actually, that's still not Bolivia. This is Bolivia. Or is it? Or is it? This, this game is never not going to be fun. Bolivia. A country you think about so little, you don't even realize that's not Bolivia, that's Colombia, except it isn't, that's Venezuela. That is Colombia, except it isn't, that's Bolivia, which is the one we were looking for in the first place. Which one's Colombia? There is simply no way to know. Argentina, Argentine tradition, every bit as grand as the tango and hiding Nazis. <laughs> but both of which they are flamboyantly good at. Brazil. Home of that one famous statue that I don't know the name of because I'm too embarrassed to Google, come at me bro, Jesus statue. <laughs> Brazil, where even the Amazon rainforest looks like it's gotten a wax. Brazil, the country with the second most valuable Amazon on Earth. Uruguay, a country that you think about so little that you didn't even notice that that's not Uruguay, this is Uruguay. <laughs> Guam, the Pacific Territory that unequivocally sounds the most like a Batman punch. <laughs> Europe. You know, that thing Belgium is in. Norway. You know, one of these. <laughs> Norway. The left testicle in the frigid sea penis of Scandinavia. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Norway, how can you pull out? The only reason we have Winter Olympics is so you freakish snow people can pick up your stupid cross-country skiing medals. Sweden? <laughs> Who hasn't spent 20 minutes in Ikea and immediately wanted to launch an attack on Sweden? Someone has to pay for what I'm going through here. Iceland, seems in Iceland the line of succession goes 
Prime Minister, the guy in charge of the fish, the Secretary of Licorice Flavoured Snaps, a litany of elves that live in assorted boulders, and finally, anybody in a wool sweater who's feeling political. Iceland, come on guys, they have cars in Iceland. It's a modern Nordic island nation and their English is excellent. Finland. Finland, Finland is on all the good lists, like uh, countries with the best pastries or best countries to host your overseas lesbian wedding. Germany. A country whose idea of a bedtime story is two children being left to die in the forest before being nearly cooked and eaten and then murdering an old woman. Sleep well. Germany. Who dares have the hubris to assume they deserve great wealth for mere excellence in trivia? So, beautiful language. And Wolfgang Boschbach! Just like honey off the tongue. Switzerland, where the national dance is collapsing from altitude sickness. Italy, the country that gave us spaghetti, the Colosseum, and in a roundabout way, the guy who played turtle. We all know the three most famous stereotypes of Italian culture are that they have close family relationships, they turn international negotiations into shouting matches, and they enjoy cooking pasta for dogs. You know, <laughs> Italians. Turkey, the country named after the fourth best sandwich and the third best burger. <laughs> Turkey, the, the country that's always much bigger than you think it is. Turkey. A country that shares its name with a bird, and not just any bird, the hottest bird. <laughs> Looking good, my friend. Looking good. Turkey. A country, a bird, and the meanest thing you could call someone in 1956. Turkey, a.k.a. Diet Syria. <laughs> Turkey is a nation in crisis. Turk is a dating service that helps you fuck long-haul truckers. <laughs> Greece. A country of and in ruins. To Greece, uh, the most recent Greek tragedy. Greece, it spent money like a rapper whose accountant is Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Greece, the home of geniuses like Socrates, Aristotle, and this guy in Mykonos with an elephant trunk thumb on his dick. <laughs> it's a vibrant country. Souls to the Poles, which is not to be confused with my charity foundation, Souls to the Poles, which sends shoes to Polish people, <laughs> despite the fact they haven't asked for them, don't need them, and have repeatedly asked me to stop. Scotland. Uh, Americans know it as the birthplace of Shrek and, and that accent you think you can do but actually can't. Uh, it's Ireland, uh, a country with a slightly higher Irish population than the Dropkick Murphys. Ireland. Europe's Boston. Home of, <laughs> home of more red hair than Deborah Messing's shower drain. Well, Russia. The country that gave the world Tetris, Merkins you wear on your heads and potentially the 45th President of the United States. <laughs> Russia. Uh, where, despite appearances of the contrary, the cathedrals are not edible. Russia, the real borscht belt. Russia, a country that will continue to be funny until it suddenly isn't. <laughs> Russia, the prequel and sequel to the Soviet Union. Russia, the future home of 45 million Ukrainians. <laughs> Russia, Earth's Death Star. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Our graphics department. Must have decided against that one for some reason. Saudi Arabia, the country with bans on pork, alcohol and porn, or as it's known in America, a Florida breakfast. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, the country that contains Mecca, which is like THE Muslim Mecca. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, the Mecca of Meccas. <laughs> Hungary, yes, Hungary. The fantasy home for every little girl who's young enough to love castles, but not quite old enough to be aware of neo-fascist political parties. <laughs> Iran, not just the setting for 2013 Best Picture winner Argo, also a country. <laughs> Iran, uh, the greatest threat to Salman Rushdie since Padma Lakshmi's divorce attorney. <laughs> America's relationship with Iran. It's the Star Wars of international relationships. Good in the 70s, terrible for a long time, and now hopefully on the brink of a revival. <laughs> Syria. Until 2011, a pretty nice name for a baby girl. <laughs> Justin Bieber's penis. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I would never do that to you. We begin with Syria. Much better. A slightly less contentious spot on the globe, Israel. Israel. Drama-wise, the opposite of Canada. Now, Yemen. Home to 26 million Yemeni people and 27 million American drones. Luxembourg. Did you know that if you Google interesting Luxembourg facts, the result is just a page that says no. 
Belgium, though, Belgium does have one thing in common with Budweiser. Historically speaking, Germans refuse to acknowledge that it's even there. <laughs> France, home of Babar, the lovable elephant who becomes less lovable when you remember that in the books he married his cousin. That's right, your childhood elephant hero was a cousin fucker. <laughs> France, the Frenchest thing imaginable, a croissant sitting in a cafe eating a baguette, or maybe a mime feeding invisible cheese to his invisible mistress with a visible erection. France is uh, maybe I look a bit arrogant, uh, but uh, how you say, uh, fuck your laws uh, and your public safety. Is, is, that, is that right? The United Kingdom home of fascinating wildlife like the fearless mating foxes of Kent and beautiful mountains that go largely unexplored by the carefree mating foxes of Kent. It's also home to some of the world's most gifted artists like whomever took this picture of the stoic mating foxes of Kent. <laughs> Unfortunately, the UK is about to be completely fucked in a way not unlike the resigned mating foxes of Kent. The United Kingdom, America's rough draft. Now, <laughs> United Kingdom, where I am fondly known as who? The UK, Earth's least magic kingdom. The UK, uh, the only two letters that promise more iciness and bad food than these two. United Kingdom, Europe's America. United Kingdom, the slightly damp corpse of the British Empire. United Kingdom, America's deadbeat dad. UK, uh, where 2,000 years of civilization led to this face. United Kingdoms. England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, and now this song is done. And that's, and that's it. That's it. I mean, to be fair, I will say, the song used to be a lot longer. The United Kingdom, birthplace of the Beatles, and yet very much the world's Ringo. Uh, the United Kingdom, America's before photo. The UK, uh, the country that gave the world the Beatles and then punished it with Coldplay. The United Kingdom, a place whose very name after this week's events is beginning to sound a bit sarcastic. <laughs> Denmark, uh, also known as Wrong Norway. <laughs> Different Sweden, and that's actually not Finland. <laughs> Spain, returning from a semester abroad in Spain and insisting on calling it Barcelona. <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> India. It just narrowly beats out America as the country where a 20-minute lecture in this accent is the least welcome. <laughs> India, or as people with this accent have historically called it, mine. <laughs> India, and honestly, the last time a British person said that, we didn't leave for about 200 years. <laughs> India, or as we once called it, Britain's spice rack. Pakistan, well, probably drone strikes. Iran, let's say crippling sanctions. Afghanistan, uh, it's the just the tip of international conflicts. <laughs> we jumped in too fast, went in further than we originally intended, and now we're pulling out way more slowly than we said we would. China, the country responsible for huge technological advances, and yet it still can't seem to get pandas to fuck. <laughs> China, manufacturers of everything except that piece of crap clay jar you got for Mother's Day. China. A 3.7 million square mile panda fuck pad. <laughs> China in microcosm right there. A gigantic machine looming over its subjects, forcing them to be more coordinated than anyone thought was physically possible. <laughs> Hong Kong, uh, the former British colony now back under Chinese rule. Hong Kong is in an odd situation. It's a, a limited democracy inside a communist country. A setup that their own constitution describes as one country, two systems. It's like the two girls, one cup of governance, <laughs> with one girl having a lot more control over what happens to that cup. North Korea. Earth's Florida. North Korea. Named Best Korea for 70 years running by North Korea magazine. North Korea. Alphabetically speaking, the world's foremost Korea. Japan. A nation so vibrant, not even Sofia Coppola and the band Air could make it boring. Japan. Earth's pervert uncle. Philippines. The world's Rorschach test. I see an upside down feather and my father's disappointment. Papua New Guinea. That's as unlikely a pairing as Sophia Vergara and Reese Witherspoon. New Zealand. We are not Australia. New Zealand. Now you may know it as the homeland of Lord, uh, or, or that place where people who are happier than you go on vacation. New Zealand. Home of the planet's most worthless bird. You are nothing. Look at me. 
you are nothing. <laughs> New Zealand. Wallaby, fuck island. <laughs> New Zealand. The country that, like a bad edible arrangement, is full of fucking kiwis. <laughs> New Zealand. Uh, the country whose major form of transportation is bungee jumping. <laughs> New Zealand this week. Hobbit Australia. <laughs> New Zealand. Australia's cheer pet. <laughs> New Zealand. Australia's Australia. <laughs> New Zealand. If you want an image that sums up everything great about New Zealand, this is the flag right here. What Olympic team would not be proud to march beneath that? Djibouti is a country with a rich cultural history and a multi-ethnic population of over 850,000 people, but you are right, it does also sound like a butt. To <laughs> Nigeria, uh, the country whose prince is going to be sending you some of that money he owes any day now. <laughs> Egypt, or as ISIS calls it, next. Egypt, home of the world's first botched nose job. <laughs> Australia, not just the country where Russell Crowe lives, but very much the Russell Crowe of countries. <laughs> Australia, home of every animal that seems like it should already be extinct. How is the platypus still alive? It looks like something Fred Flintstone would have used as a Swiss army knife. Now Australia, we have two million people incarcerated. If we keep going in this direction, we'll soon have enough to populate an entire new country with prisoners. And trust me when I say, that is not a good idea. <laughs> Literally, the only good thing to come out of that experiment was Hugh Jackman, and that took 180 years. <laughs> it, it was worth it, but it was a long time. But it, w but it was worth it. It was worth it. But that's two centuries, but it was, it, it was worth it. But, Azerbaijan, a country you think about so little you didn't even realize that not only is that not Azerbaijan, it's not even a landmass, it's the Caspian Sea. <laughs> this is Azerbaijan. Brunei. Uh, wait, let me back up for a second. There is a country called Brunei. <laughs> uh, it's located here in Southeast Asia. Uh, specifically, it's located here on the island of Borneo. Anyway, Brunei falls under the Saudi Arabia rule. If you're a tiny, wealthy, strategically located country with oily business underneath you, the whole world is your friend. Uh, in a nutshell, Gaza, horrific. And Syria, to be honest, it's barely been reported on, but let's assume it's still fucking awful. Crimea... Have you seen the Crimean people? It's basically this guy. This is what you won, Russia. This man and the entire history that his face represents. And I just want to be clear that this guy is having a really good day. <laughs> that is what smiling looks like in Crimea. And why shouldn't he be smiling? After all, it's his 16th birthday. Ukraine, or as Vladimir Putin might call it, phase one. Ukraine, that's a Libyan pool party waiting to happen. <laughs> Ukraine, uh, a nation that, like the human appendix and your grandma Mimi, you only really hear about if something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Ukraine currently Russia's fastest growing import. <laughs> Estonia, a country where, from the looks of it, they still worry about Shrek attacks. <laughs> Chechnya, a sentence uttered almost as infrequently as, man, I hope I get seated next to a baby. <laughs> Chechnya, the place that, when it shows up in text at the beginning of an action movie scene, promises you some shit is about to go down. <laughs> Germany, where the national motto is, let's stick to the present, shall we? Uh, OK, uh, give me another one. Uh, Luxembourg, what happens when you leave Liechtenstein out in the sun too long? Bam! OK, give me another one. Belgium, the casual acquaintance France crops out of its Instagram photos. OK, OK, one more, I'm on a roll, one more. Denmark, what would happen if a suicide note was a country? I don't even know I'm doing these and I could do them all day. That's our show. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Good night.